Organic chemistry professor Mitch Malakowski was selected from 400 top U.S. professors by the Carnegie Foundation and the Council for Advancement and Support of Education. Professor Malakowski, welcome to Evening Edition and congratulations. Thank you, I'm happy to be here. Now, tell us about your teaching style and how you think that earned you uh, this really top recognition. Well, you know, I, I guess I like to think that what I do is connect with my students. And so I'm all, often asked, um, well, you teach chemistry, or how do you teach chemistry? And I keep telling people, they don't teach chemistry, I teach students. And mm. so to me, it's the connection that I make with my students, and I try to get them to connect with each other and then connect with the material. So I make it personal, it's very personal. And we're gonna drill down a little bit about that, but before we do, I wanna ask you, do you think that students and even themselves and even parents kind of underestimate the uh, experience of, of being a student and the pressures that involves? The pressures are unbelievable. Uh, it seems so different now, and I think that careers are, are, are dominating the conversations that families have when it comes to higher education. What does it prepare me to do? And, and I think that that's a legitimate question. Uh, but to me, college is an experience. It's a series of experiences, and connecting those experiences is really important. But the pressures students face now are enormous compared to, I know, when I was in school. Because of jobs? Because of jobs. It's an it's expensive proposition now to go to college. And, and I think the economy being what it is challenges people to think what's possible for their son or daughter or for the student themselves. And so, yeah, there, there's enormous amounts of pressure on students now. Let's get back to your connecting with students. What kind of questions do you ask students to engage them or, or get them involved or feeling connected? I ask them, what do you love? What do you love? What is your passion? I think so much of it is about passion. When we, when we talk to our students uh, in that way, uh, it kind of puts them a little defensive. They, they, they wonder, well, what is my passion? In some cases, they can identify it, and in some cases, they can't. And if they can't, then I really, it's my job to help them develop those passions. First of all, figure out what they are and then, and then develop them. Now, you're uh, an organic chemistry instructor. Do you uh, sort of uh, get kids to stick with chemistry? Some of them, yeah, <laughs> some of them do. <laughs> I, I, I think what's important is I, I hope that the ones who stick with it are sticking with it for the right reasons and that's the place that they should be. And the ones who move to something else, that's, that's their place in life. I don't think everyone should be an organic chemist. Uh, and I'm not trying to make students organic chemists. Uh, I'm really trying to help them connect with themselves and understand who they are and, and then develop those passions. Let's talk logistics here. We've heard that college classes are crammed and, and schedules are, are, are crammed, giving professors very little time for this one-on-one -on -one interaction. How do you find the time and, and what would you say to other instructors? Make the time. You know, we know, we know what works now, and, and the classroom is important, but what we know is what happens outside the classroom is what really matters to students. So that uh, we need to engage our students outside of the classroom. So that might be for me, undergraduate research, research with my students. It might be for others, community-based work with their students. It might be internships. It might be uh, helping them learn, uh, develop their writing skills. But that's what really matters. Those are what we now call high-impact practices, and we know they work. How would you describe your uh, a successful experience with a student? One that you can say, all right, I did my job here. Uh, I challenged a student. I looked uh, that student right in the eye, like I'm looking you right in the eye and I'm gonna challenge you to be the best person you can be, to give this the best effort you can and I'm gonna help you with that. Uh, and if the student then takes that and internalizes it and really pushes him or herself, then that's success. I think that's success. But, but the other part of that is there is something to be said for achievement. So how do we turn that uh, kind of introspective look into achievement? That's, I think, the bigger challenge. And what do you hear back from students? Uh, I think they like the fact that I, that I make it personal, that I like them to know some things about me and I want to know who they are. And so the personal thing is what really matters. Isn't that what really matters in life are the connections we make? So I really try to connect them with me, connect them with the material, even have them connect with themselves and then connect with their friends and colleagues and classmates. What does this uh, Carnegie Foundation Award mean to you and to uh, the University of San Diego? Uh, you know, I, I, I've used the word affirming. I, I, I think it really affirms the approach that I've taken. I have a lot of faculty colleagues who are as, at least as good at this as I am. Uh, and so it affirms what we do in our approach and the, and the kind of personal attention that we want to give to our students. So yeah, it's very affirming. All right, Professor Mitch Malakowski, thank you again and congratulations. Thank you too.